one of the things about playing to win is you got to take some what? Risks. What do you think the most common thing that comes up, word that you think about when you think about risk? What's the word that comes up when you think about it's risky? It's what? Failure, fear, danger, losing money. So when we think about risk, it's always what? The negative, right? Now let me ask you a question. Why would you be thinking of taking a risk anyway? Why would you thinking about it? To change, to grow, to get to the next step. It's always going to involve risk. Now, the thing is that risk has, is like the flip side of a coin. One side is danger, the other side is what? Opportunity. So what I'm saying to you is when you think about taking a risk, yes, you should definitely write out what are the potential dangers, but if you only focus on that, you know what you'll end up doing? Nothing. You'll end up doing nothing. You'll end up holding back, waiting. Fear will cause you to press on the brakes. You won't do anything. It zaps your motivation, it zaps your confidence, zaps your commitment. So what I'm saying is, yes, you should think of all the potential pitfalls when you're going to take a risk, but you should also think about all of the what? All of the rewards, all of the opportunities, all of the possibilities. And then you should weigh them, and you should look. I want to give you an example. I was working with a group of doctors, MDs, at a big conference, and we were doing stuff just like this. And I said, does anybody have something here that they're thinking about doing differently, taking a risk, but But, they, they, but they're focused on all the negative parts about why it's not a good idea. And one guy came up and he said, what a, he was a surgeon, and he talked about, I'm thinking about getting a partner, expanding my practice. I said, yeah. And he said, the problem is, and it, first of all, it comes up with the problem, right? I said, what's up? The problem is, if I get another partner, maybe I won't make any more money, so I'll be making less money. Maybe some of my patients will prefer him to me so I'll have less patience. Maybe we'll have to start buying more equipment and therefore uh, my costs are going to go up. Maybe we're going to have to get a whole new place to work, you know, a new offices and stuff like that and who knows and we've got to get more help and doing that. And he said, and, and he said, so you know, that I have, they just haven't been doing it. I keep putting it off. Well, wouldn't you put it off if that's all there was? So then I said to him, are there any potential upsides of it? And he said, oh, sure. I said, well, what are they? Well, I could take more time with my family. I could maybe go on a vacation. Maybe we'd even make up more money by, you know, having more people. Maybe we'd have more technology so we could do new stuff. Maybe we'd, da -da -da, so, you know, maybe we'd start a much bigger practice. And all of a sudden, you could see the change in his attitude as he started thinking about that. And then we started looking at both, and, and he started, I heard from him about a year later, he had started making some moves, he started getting a partner in part-time. But you know, the whole shift was just to get him to think about the opposite end, because it's such a tendency of all of us when you think about the courage to take a risk, because we, associate risk with danger, failure, with the negatives, so we get scared away from it and we play not to lose.